Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is Heart to Heart with Holy Spirit. I'm so happy to be back in the presence of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in, fam. I do appreciate you all. All my old and new subscribers, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I hope that you are in good spirit and you have been very productive today. Thank you so much for rocking it out with me this evening. All right, collective. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. I've already meditated over the energies. All right, let's see. Keep in mind, I may say he, she, male, female, divine, feminine, divine, masculine. Take your word, resonates. Energies are fluid and interchangeable. If you resonate with the message, all as well. Let me pull this up a little bit. If you don't, please do not make the story clear, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. See what spirit wants you to know. Let's get it. Let's go in Jesus' name. <clears throat> All right. Holy Spirit, messages of clarity and truth. What do you want the collective to know tonight? Anything that could be a catalyst for forward movement on their spiritual path and journey? It says surrender to success. Surrender to success. It says, you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities, okay? So I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you that there's going to be a leap of faith that you're going to have to take, okay? You see this door right here, this gateway, this pathway? Spirit is trying to let you know that you need to involve yourself in moving forward, all right? Spirit is also letting you know that you need to follow the guiding light, and that is spirit, okay? Any nudges that you are getting right now, you need to listen to. Your higher self has possibly been telling you that it's time to declutter, time to set expectations for yourself on your journey for 2023 in particular. Anything that you didn't do last year, spirit is saying, don't worry about that. That's the past. You always have a new day. So focus on the present moment. Anything that you do on today will affect your future. All right. So let me see what else. Oh, on the bottom of the deck, you got surrender to creativity. All right. So spirit is saying that you're going to have to be creative. Um, take new avenues of finding new ways of doing things. Yes. Yeah, surrender to your soul's path. I can't make this up, you guys. Okay. It says your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth experience and embrace every lesson in, in every moment yeah see spirit wants you to be in the present moment i can't make this up on the bottom of the deck it says surrender comparisons with other people okay so if you're so busy looking at other people you're not going to be able to focus on yourself and your journey and where spirit is trying to take you um spirit is saying keep your eyes on the prize okay train your eyes to look forward and uh focus on yourself okay focus on your attentiveness to the things that need to be done and i feel like this is an urgency yeah surrender to the wisdom of your body okay all right so spirit is saying listen all right listen to the messages that you're getting it, it may be about a situation or about a person okay in particular a job it could be about a relationship, but spirit is saying you need to get energized and be happy to move forward because something has been draining your energy and making you very uncomfortable. Okay. All right. So let's see. I feel like spirit is trying to tell you that you are amazing. You know, you are a unique person and you have a lot of potential and it's untapped. All right. <clears throat> Holy spirit. This is just a clarity and truth. Okay. So I'm seeing green on here and I'm also seeing like an orange color so this may have something to do with your sacral chakra and your heart chakra also purple so it could have something to do with your intuition like i said you guys may be getting nudges all right tap into your heart space because whatever you're passionate about is there okay and focus on your emotions don't get in your feelings so much okay don't be so down on yourself give yourself a little grace what else holy spirit messages of clarity and truth your messages of clarity and truth false person okay so there may be somebody around you that has on a mask that needs to be unveiled something that you may you may need to pay attention to a person could be a family member friend a co-worker a boss on the bottom of the deck you have courthouse in reverse so something is unbalanced what else holy spirit 
main male. I'm sorry, main female. <clears throat> Alright, you could be this main female or spirit is saying that there may be a main female around you that may have on a mask. Spirit also may be telling you if this is you that you need to tap into your authentic self okay unexpected income all right something may not be going your way because there are no expectations all right you're not setting goals community you should be working with someone or focusing on collaborations because you you could be a privileged lady and you need to make that your concern because i feel like i'm talking to someone in the collective that may be burdened okay by a, a person surrounding them it could be yourself or it just could be like a relationship with someone or you're just hesitant to collaborate because you feel unworthy all right or somebody feels unworthy to collaborate with you all right but i do feel like i'm talking to someone in the collective i do feel like this is your energy and this is just clarity and truth while these messages here. Ace of Cups. It's too many, but I'm going to look at it. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Judgment, and Five of Swords. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of mind games that someone is playing with you. Or possibly um, <clears throat> they may have been deceptive in some type of way. You have the false person here. Something that you need to call judgment on. Something that's making you unfulfilled. There's a lack of happiness somewhere. Two of Cups. Someone you have a soul bond with. Yeah, the lovers. Okay. There may have been an ending of a relationship or a relationship that you need to put an end to with the King of Cups. Okay. This person is very nurturing, very loving. Okay. But I feel like this person may have possibly let you go or you let this person go. There may have been a breakup, okay, because somebody was being uncommitted or the ships wasn't coming in. Somebody tried to avoid a tower, but it was unavoidable, all right? Spirit is saying that this was not a divine union, okay? It was a bond for sure, but it wasn't like that twin flame type of energy. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a twin flame, but I'm just saying that there was some type of sacred bond, okay? Spirit is saying that somebody in the collective may have just, you know, Maybe heartbroken over a, a a breakup of some sort. What else, Holy Spirit? But something didn't go in the right direction. Something I know it was a card here turned over. It's not. What else, Holy Spirit? All right, you have the magician. You have the wheel of fortune reverse and the chariot reverse. Yeah. Somebody was trying to manifest the situation, okay, and the wheel did not turn. You could be dealing with all signs. You could be dealing with a Gemini and a, a, a Cancer or a Scorpio. Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody was enlightened about a connection, all right? Somebody thought it was going to go in another direction and it didn't i do feel like i'm talking to someone that may have been either engaged or in a deep commitment with somebody or if you're not engaged or married to this person you may have been with this person for a long time like there was a a, a hardcore establishment of a relationship but it's over it wasn't moving forward yeah, because there was some type of heartbreak, some type of deception, something that was revealed. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. Okay, you could be dealing with a air sign. Something broke your heart, Collective. And Spirit is saying that this is draining your energy, okay? It's keeping you from your success. I do feel like you found out this person wasn't your person, literally. And Spirit is saying that whatever it is, is making you stuck. King of Swords. All right. There's a King of Swords surrounding you. Okay. With uh, with some type of small emotion. Um, this person may have lied to you. I'm getting like with this fish in this cup. I'm getting that this person may have lied to you or something like that. Or there was some type of lack of communication. Look, you have the Knight of Swords right behind that. Some type of communication that was unwanted. 
Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. They told you that they, they didn't see a family with you. Okay? This person possibly told you that they wanted something else. Spirit is saying that this person is a king of wands. All right? This person is very driven, very passionate. This person is very smart, knows how to articulate. They think a lot, possibly overthink. But this person left you out in the cold, okay? And they left you stuck. They left an open-ended cycle with you. You have, look, I'm telling you, you have lovers in reverse here twice. And this deck, the lovers is here twice. Simply because there's all types of relationships out there, okay? This could be a, a heterosexual relationship, could be a same-sex relationship, I'm not sure. But it was something that was uh, open-ended and it wasn't going anywhere. It was like Spirit is saying, okay, y'all have this cycle open, but y'all are not doing anything, okay? And it's saying, look, no, no, no. Spirit is saying, this is not the divine path. For partnership with this person that's what spirit is trying to get you to know you're the empress okay you're nurturing you're the epitome of all the queens okay you're a person who's very strong-minded individually okay nurturing you're um driven you're passionate you possibly are a mother okay but spirit is saying that there's a ace of cups right around the corner okay you may be angry you may be pissed off okay queen of swords and this person left you obsessed about the situation, all right? You didn't want to walk away from it, but I do feel like somebody has been in a relationship for a long time, and you're like, I put in all this time just to come out empty-handed, all right? So let's see. Let's see. I'm going to get the X-Files just to see. Holy Spirit, tell me about this false person. I do feel like someone in the collective is saying, you know, since we broke up, what have you been doing? Did you love me at all? Okay, were you faking your feelings? Were you just dealing with me because we had history? I don't think your expectation was to be involved with someone who felt like they had to babysit a relationship. You really wanted someone that was fully committal, you know, fully aware of what they wanted and their expectations because I feel like you had an expectation. For some of you, there may have, if you're a boyfriend, girlfriend, take it where it resonates. Um, if there was no title in this relationship, Spirit is saying that's one of the reasons why there was no expectation of income, okay? No titles. Because there were no, no boundaries set, okay? It may have been like a situationship that you thought was going to lead to more or a possible relationship or a family, and it didn't for some of you. Holy Spirit, what's this false person? See, Spirit says that's the truth. Unslick Rick slides into DMs, gets stuck on red, on unread. Okay, so you found out someone was texting someone else, okay? That's crazy. On the bottom of the deck, you got monkeying around, comes across as happy-go-lucky and charismatic, but will never take anyone seriously. Yeah, this person, they played you for a fool. They took your kindness for weakness, okay? They thought you were just going to stick around because there were no titles. And this person was outdoing them. They are the king of wands, the king of swords as well. This person is in deep thought. You could be dealing with a air sign but this person may be a manipulator as well Oop. okay so you got sex lies and videotape they extort people in control by using sexual photographs which were initially shared privately okay you may have created a lot of things and went on the deep end for this person somebody was with a masculine this feminine if this is you collective I feel like you were a mask you were with a masculine that literally had you out on a limb like you would do anything for this person if this person says okay let's let's record a sex tape let's you know get into this kinky type of lifestyle in the bedroom area you were sacrificing a lot for this relationship kryptonite that's because you were addicted to this person okay this person had you all wrapped up in them, sparkly and pretty on the inside, but toxic and ill-intended on the outside. See, I can't make it up. 
this person didn't have your best interest at heart. Of mice, less men, procreates and multiplies without the investment while destroying people's homes and energy. Yeah, for some of you, you may have had a baby with this person, but Spirit is saying that this person sleeps with many people. Okay, they procreate. They have uh, possibly unprotected sex with a lot of people. Okay, multiplying in and out year by year. Okay, you may have found out that your person was getting others pregnant or possibly had someone else pregnant. It could be ba a baby or babies that you found out about. What else? Bros before hoes covering up for their two-faced good for nothing bro. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this person was out there doing their thing, okay? They were in those streets, all right? Out there just, you know, sleeping with everybody they could possibly get in contact with, okay? They had a lot of females, just to be honest, all right? Is, is giving me dirty D vibes, okay? And every time you would try to check up on your person, your person I feel like was very unavailable. And if you couldn't get in contact with them, you would possibly call their friend and their friend was covering up for them. What else? The Godfather, they struggle with their religious upbringing and their need for self-gratification and or power. Yeah, this person tried to possess you. That's what they looked at you like, a trophy, okay? Something that they can manipulate, use when they wanted to, come in and out of your energy, in and out of your life. It's crazy. Twilight shows up or calls at night to see what others are up to. Booty call anyone. See, I, I, I'm telling y'all, I told you it was some type of situationship. I was getting very heavily no titles. No titles. Spirit is saying going forward on your soul's path, that is no longer acceptable after going through this. Okay? Spirit is saying um, you need to set some boundaries with, with, this, with men or women. Take it where it resonates going forward. Okay, this person has empty promises and a false mask, but it's broken. All right, Holy Spirit, tell me about this uh, feminine. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get this right here. Tell me about this feminine main female, and then I'm going to um, clarify this magician because this is pretty clear. Okay, Holy Spirit, why is the main female here? Elevation, climbing, transcendence. Spirit is saying that you need to overcome the obstacle. All right, you feel unlike yourself. You feel like you possibly can't identify who you are anymore. I feel like you no longer recognize yourself because you sacrificed so much for this person just because you wanted to be with them. Spirit is saying that you need to free yourself of this energy. Give yourself some grace, okay? You've had a sudden realization. There's been a tower moment. You've gotten the answers that you need. What else? Yeah. So you're saying there may be an astrological influence over this situation. I don't know who you're dealing with or what sign they are, but there's something in their chart that um, is part of their makeup, okay? And why they act the way they act. Spirit is saying that you're wounded. Yeah, I can't make this up. And Spirit is also saying that you're gifted, okay? You need to fall in love with the magic of who you are, basically. Okay? One more. Individual. I can't make this up. Individuality, expressive, artistic, unique, fashion, courageous, trendset. See? Look. Fall in love with the magic of who you are. You are an individual who is very... If not spiritual, very um, deep-rooted, gifted. But you just need to tap into it. Yeah. See, Spirit is saying that you were in a repetitive cycle, okay? This was getting on your nerves. And it was because you were seeking attention in the wrong areas from the wrong people. Twin flame reverse. See? I Look, let me tell you. The lovers came out here twice. In reverse this is a twin flame reverse you were chasing after someone who did not even love you let alone the correct person that was supposed to be in partnership with on your spiritual path okay spirit is saying you needed to separate yourself from that person yeah spirit is saying say no 
If this person tries to come into your energy, make yourself unavailable. Okay? Spirit is saying also you need to work on your self-esteem, your lack of self-awareness. Okay? Because this person was trying to keep you stuck. Like I said, for some of you, you may have had a pregnancy scare or you got pregnant with this person by this person or possibly you may have wanted to have babies with this person but spirit is saying that you need to balance yourself okay ground yourself care for yourself respect yourself know your worth okay because whoever you were dealing with is very shallow they think about themselves only and what they can get out of other people okay let me go ahead and get you guys some advice holy spirit messages of clarity and trust. What do you need the collective to know? Any advice for the collective pertaining to the situation? This is just a clarity and truth for the collective. Yeah, Spirit is saying open up your ears. It says notice messages that are and appear as sounds, music and words from both internal sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Look, surrender to the wisdom of your body is here. A ear is part of your body. Listen to the messages that you're getting. If your ears are ringing, that is spirit's activation trying to let you know, okay? That's a message, a sign, trying to let you know that something needs to change. All right, family, you have this, this situation is rooted in emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal in your mind and heart. Surround this person, yourself and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to find peace. All right. Spirit is saying that you, if you have um, a large family or if you have a close family member or a big family in general, you need to reach out to your family, surround yourself with people that love you and vice versa. Assert assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently and with love as you request it. Yet there's a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding you in your words. Spirit is saying speak up. Okay, you're going to be successful in whatever you do, but you need to know your worth. Stop repeating this cycle. This is a no. Okay, spirit is saying, baby, it's over. Come back to reality. All right, set some boundaries. Don't, don't go out on a limb for people that just want to use you as a toy for their own sexual gratification. Okay, move forward. Do things on your terms that aligns with your path because your 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 partner, your true partner is going to come and find you. OK, on the bottom of the deck, spirit is saying it's time to go. All right. I hope this message brought you guys a lot of clarity and advice. I will see you guys in the next reading. Don't forget to like the video. Click the notification bell if you want to be notified on when I make a post and comment below if you resonate with the message. I love you, my lovely hearts. I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.